Seacology's first project in Colombia is moving forward at a steady pace. On Isla Grande, our grant is helping the villagers of Orica to establish a waste management system including equipment to sort and process the plastic that has accumulated around the island. Leaders of the community would like to take advantage of Isla Grande's popularity with ecotourists and other visitors and are enthusiastically spreading awareness about the benefits of a cleaner island. The first project Ecology launched in Peru is now complete. The interpretive center we funded in the coastal town of La Isla provides a base for oversight of a 24,000 acre reserve around nearby Foca Island and a place to train local youth to work in the area's growing ecotourism industry. Seacology staff and board members recently attended the opening ceremony. Working with the Mexican Commission of Natural Protected Areas, Seacology made a small grant to translate a short video shown to visitors to the island of Cozumel, a popular tourist destination off the Yucatan Peninsula. The island hosts millions of English-speaking visitors each year, and the video will help to ensure that they don't inadvertently damage the island's coral reef. Our latest project in Tonga faced a setback when Cyclone Gita struck in February. The roof of the Seacology funded community hall was damaged, but the main structure remains intact. We're working to repair the roof and finish the construction. Our project partner, the community of Atata, continues to protect a neighboring 440-acre marine reserve. Kirapwe Island lies within the Maida Creek estuary on Kenya's coastline. The area is part of one of the most important bird habitats in Africa, with more than 230 species living among its dense mangroves. The island is also home to the Wata or Sanya community, former hunter-gatherers with a history of suffering persecution whose unique culture is at risk of disappearing. Both the area's natural resources and the Wata are threatened by climate change and drought. In 2017, Seacology funded a new water cistern and repair of an existing one for the village. In exchange, the community has agreed to protect the island's 865 acres of mangrove forest. The project launched recently with a festive celebration. The picturesque village of Punchak Baru in the highlands of West Java relies on a traditional, sustainable system of rice farming, with nearly everyone in the community growing the crop. The rainy mountainous area is prone to erosion, and the village had long been frustrated by damage to its irrigation system from landslides. A 2016 Seacology grant let the village repair and strengthen the main canal that brings water to its fields. In exchange, the community is protecting more than 2,300 acres of spectacular forest and planting trees along the canal to help control erosion and evaporation. Seacology is funding the installation of a 10-kilometer water pipe from a reservoir to the village of Mankadite on the island of Borneo. The system will provide a reliable source of drinking water and irrigation to village residents who must now fetch water from a river. In exchange, the community is protecting 400 acres of rainforest and seeking its legal protection. Donors who contributed to our Save an Acre program are helping to move this project forward. Seacology is also revisiting an older project in Malaysia, also on Borneo. In 2004, we funded a micro-hydro power system to provide electricity to the remote village of Tirion. In exchange, the community has protected a 107-acre watershed. A landslide damaged the pipeline supplying water to the generator, so Seacology will fund repairs. The forest remains well protected. Damaged in a cyclone in 2014, the conservation center on the shores of Tall Lake has been refurbished with the help of a Seacology grant. The facility oversees protection of a 2,471-acre fish sanctuary. It also serves as a training center for local people to learn low-impact skills like beekeeping and ecotourism, and a market for locally produced goods.